Hey everyone, how's it going? Eric the Explorer here again. Thank you very much for last week. I've decided to go with plastic bottles for my windows. Someone suggested that and I thought it was a great idea. They were transparent and we could see through them. So this week I've come across another problem. As you know, I've been out exploring yet again and I came across a rhino and he's in the middle of a lake and he needed food and I couldn't get the food to him. So we needed to come up with a solution to the problem. Now I thought we could build a catapult. Yeah, I think today we're gonna to build a catapult. For the catapult to work, we need to look at things that are bendy or flexible and stiff. So flexible things and stiff things. For the catapult to work, it needs to have a little bit of flexibility, but also be a little bit stiff. We're gonna test some materials and find out which is the best to make our catapult. Hope you can help. This spoon is stiff. It doesn't bend. This wood is flexible, but also stiff. It bends a little. This spoon is very flexible. To make this, you will need lollipop sticks or a pencil, some materials to test, I'm using spoons and sellotape. The first thing we need to do is take our lollipop sticks and we're going to build a base. I'm gonna count out my lollipop sticks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The next thing I need to do is only take some of them. I'm going to choose six lollipop sticks to be my base. Six. We need to put these on top of each other and stack them all together. And then I'm going to sticky tape around one end of the lollipop sticks. You might need some help with this. Take the sticky tape or you can use an elastic band to bind them together. And we're going to wrap the sticky tape around all of the lollipops together on one end. So we create almost like one giant lollipop stick. As you can see, I'm trying to wrap around the sticky tape so they're all stuck together. Once we've done that one end, we're going to open them up slightly and I'm going to put one lollipop stick in the middle. So take one out and you're going to put one lollipop stick in through that gap. Once you've placed them through we're going to tape up the other end and what you'll have at the end is an X. This thin lollipop stick is what you're going to attach the materials that you're going to test to. Here I'm testing a wooden fork for its flexibility. I'm going to sticky type down one end of the wooden fork and I have created my catapult. Once you've tested the flexibility of your one material, for example, this time it's my wooden fork, I can take off my wooden fork and add in a different material. I'm gonna test this plastic spoon next. Again, I'm just gonna tape one end of the plastic spoon down to the thin part of my catapult. Now I can test the flexibility of my spoon. Remember the catapult needed to be stiff and flexible. Hmm, that didn't go as far. I can do the same again with a different material. This time I'm gonna be testing a metal spoon. I wonder how flexible or how stiff this will show. Finally, it was time for me to be able to test my catapult to be able to feed the rhino. I placed the egg on the catapult and now I've got to see if I can get the egg all the way to the rhino. I've chosen wood because I think it was flexible yet stiff. Wow, oh, it's so close. Maybe you could try this. Maybe you could create a game from it. <laughs> 